Hello, I'm Lucy Brown. I'm the Director of Nursing and Midwifery Leadership Development here at the Florence Nightingale Foundation. And I'm absolutely delighted to be able to share with you some top tips on how to write a successful scholarship application. Um, I was a scholar back six years ago, and I have to say it's an absolutely transformational experience, both professionally and personally. I really, really would urge you to apply. And I hope that the next few minutes help to support you um, in your application. So, why would you apply for a scholarship? So we have access to the very best in leadership development programmes. You have a, a budget, a personal budget that you can use on programmes that are aligned to your unique leadership development journey. Um, we do have core components of the programme, which is working alongside the King's Fund, who run some elements for us, um, and also do the assessment, and also RADA, the Royal Academy of Dramatic Arts, which really do impact on you personally and professionally. You'll have the support of an experienced mentor who's part of our alumni and also have a tailored of personal and professional development plan, really making sure you get the most of your well, over a year scholarship with us. Access to a national network of like minded nurses and midwives um, and that network will continue throughout your career. Um, your personal and professional life changes experiences I spoke about earlier um, and also your benefit not only yourself, but your organisation and also those around you, your staff, and also your seniors as well, as you flourish and thrive and develop even more. And the great thing is you get to develop a project focused on quality improvement or innovation, where you can really have an impact on patient outcomes and population health, but also with a note to the sustainable agenda as well, which is so, so important in our current climate. Um, you'll also be at the award of a Florence Nightingale uh, Foundation Scholar, and obviously get a pin badge, um, and be associated with Florence Nightingale herself. Our charity was set up um, as a legacy to Florence Nightingale's work, and our scholarships have been running since 1934. And it's fair to say some of the best nurses and midwives in the country, including some of our very own C and current country CNOs, have been scholars of the Florence Nightingale Foundation. So you'll be standing shoulder to shoulder to some of the greats across the nursing and midwifery profession. Anyway, let's move on to the application process. So it's an online application process. You'll find our link on our website. Um, we need a letter from a senior sponsor. So that's preferably your line manager, just saying that they actually will support you through the scholarship. Make sure you get study time so you can complete it and really get the most from it. And also um, contribute a thousand pounds. What we found is actually getting that support and financial support from your organization really helps you to flourish thrive and grow. Also need evidence of your nursing and midwifery council professional registration and also your employing organisation details and the finance department to follow up on that thousand pounds that I just spoke about. So the questions, what well, five questions. Tell us about the service that you work in in your team. So essentially what, what your team do, how do you support them and what, what do you deliver within your organisation? Describe your role and your responsibilities and tell us about your leadership achievements to date and your aspirations. What do you really want to get from the scholarship? What will support you in your future career as a nurse and midwifery leader? Also, I'd like you to describe your innovative quality improvement project, which you're going to undertake as part of the programme, which promotes clinical excellence. That nod to health outcomes is a bit of a clue there. Um, but also, additionally, for the first year and subsequent years, we will be doing this from now on, is actually how will your project su support the sustainability agenda? We don't just mean from an environmental perspective, we mean financially, we mean from reducing carbon footprint and net zero carbon emissions, but also from a socially responsible perspective as well. So how will you demonstrate that in your application? And that's really important. So essentially, in simplistic terms, who are you? How do you lead? What difference do you really want to make? And how will this scholar enable you to really make the difference? And that's what us nurses and midwives are about, the greater good of making a difference. So some common mistakes. I really don't like seeing short, limited answers. Make the most of that application and the word count. We want to see you and feel you in the application. Spelling and grammar errors might seem fairly straightforward, but make sure you check it before you, um, before you submit. In personal generic responses, we want to hear about you, you and your personal leadership style and your journey. Generalised goals. We really want to know what you are going to achieve from this, what actions you're going to take, what you really want to develop as a leadership behaviour. Um, we'd really like to see references from about Florence and the FNF. So no reference is always disappoints us a little. And no reference as to why, you know, that big why, why do you want to do a scholarship? What are you going to get from it? Is really what we want to hear. And we want to, we want to read that as well. And it's, it's so, so rewarding when you do see that in an application. 
And then the last thing really that, that people do make common mistakes on is what do you want to achieve from your project? How do you want to impact on your patients? What outcomes do you um, expect to see? And how are you going to measure it? Okay, so let's look at the, some top tips too. So give yourself loads of time. As I said earlier, applications open on the 15th of August and they close on the 21st of October. So you've got plenty of time to get that application in. Use the word limit. Um, give well-structured and well-articulated answers, even reference where appropriate to. Define what you want to achieve in your project. What do you really want to help, support, make better, you know, change the world, whatever that might be. Think about your first paragraph. How are you going to grab our attention? How are we going to look at that thing? We really want to make sure we, we get these people through to interview. Next, give some examples. Bring your application to life. Make it personal as well. Share what really motivates you. What do you care about? Um, and what are you proud of? What are you proud of? Be specific about the impact of the project. I think in the, in the scholarship, we've really spoken about that, about common mistakes. But also link it to regional, national, global priorities. How will you disseminate your findings? You, know, you may have a local project, but actually, how could you scale that up potentially? How could you share your findings with other organisations um, across locally, nationally, or even globally? And finally, probably most importantly, what would Florence say? How do you align to Florence Nightingale's legacy? How do you want to make a difference? Is it evidence based? Um, Florence was an absolutely formidable lady. How would you, what would you say in those circumstances? So that's it from me. Um, good luck with your application. We wish you all the very best. Um, and if you need any help or support, please do email us at um, our academy mailbox, academy at florencenightingale.org.uk. And we'll be happy to answer any questions. Best of luck and look forward to seeing an application for you in October. Take care.